In this tutorial, you learn how to create slider that look like this. You click on the handle, move it to the right. You click the handle, move it all the way to the right. And from the right, you can click on it and move it all the way to the left. Move it from left to right. These are kind of interactions that we will be recreating on Figma. So let's see how we can do it step by step. I have this screenshot over here as a reference. First thing that I will do is to add a rectangle. Add a rectangle here. Um, let's give it a size of 500. For the rectangle, I'm going to right click and give it the uh, add auto layout. For this auto layout, I'm going to change the name from frame one. And let me call this, um, uh, okay, what do you call this? Let me call this a slider. Slider, I don't know, man. Let me just call it slider background. If you have a better name, you know, feel free to suggest. Now, for this slider background, I'm going to change the width to be a fixed width of 1000. For the slider background, uh, background color, <laughs> what a name, I'm going to change the color to be a muted blue using the color picker here. Select the blue. And for this rectangle, for this rectangle, I'm going to change the color and I'm going to select a darker blue. And now I'm going to select the slider background again and I'm going to reduce the padding. I'm going to eliminate the paddings to be 0px. All right, cool. I'm going to select the slider background again. For the radius, corner radius, I'm going to give it 100 to make it a little bit rounded. And I'm going to click clip content. Beautiful. So right now, I kind of have like this, uh, this part of the uh, slider. Another thing that I'm missing, it's the handle, which is the circle. Click on shape, add a circle. Okay, for the circle, I'm going to increase the size. Let's say 200. For this circle, I'm going to give it a blue color as well. I'm going to use color picker. Select this color. And I'm going to give it some effect to make it pop up a little. Okay, I'm going to just click on effect. And I'm going to keep it as a default. Now, I'm going to select this circle and the slider background. Select both of them. Right click. Um, hmm, let's see what I'm supposed to do. Um, okay, let me try add auto layout. I think add auto layout. Okay. Uh, as a standard practice, I always like to rename these components. So let me just change the frame name from frame one and I'm going to uh, call it slider. Select this circle. Select this circle. Okay, let me just move it down a bit. Select this circle. I want you to click on absolute position on the top right. Okay, click on absolute position. So now you can freely move the uh, circle within the auto layout frame. I'm going to move it to the center and it looks great now. Okay, so we have our very first version of a slider. At this stage, of course, you know, this slider is just a static slider. You can't really interact with it. So the next thing that we are going to do is to add interactivity to it. Select the slider, click on create component and click on add variant. Oops, it's a little bit too close. Let me just give both of them some space. Okay, give it some space. Okay, give it some space. And I'm gonna select one of them and I'm gonna click on this plus sign to add variant again. So I have three variant, okay? Now, for the first one, which is the one at the top, I'm going to select the rectangle and I'm going to change the size to, let's say, 50. And I'm going to move this circle, the X positioning. Let me change it to zero and see what happened. Okay, let me just change it to zero to move it all the way to the left. For the last slider, I'm going to move the circle all the way to the right. So let me just change the uh, X to be, let's say, 1000. Oops, 1000. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Okay, maybe 1000 minus 200. Okay, that looks pretty okay. Right, for the last slider, again, select the uh, rectangle and I'm going to change the width to be 1000 to just take up the full width of it. Great. So, the last step is to um, add these uh, drag interactions so that you have that sliding effect. I'm going to select this first circle in the first slider, click on prototype, click interaction, 
hover over to the circle, you can see that uh, there is this plus sign. Click on it and connect it to the second slider. Okay, connect it to the second slider. Instead of on click, you're gonna change it to on drag. As for the animations, change it to smart animate. Now, do the same for the second slider. Select the circle from the second slider. Select this plus sign, which is to do some sort of a interactions. Connect it to the last slider. Do the same thing, change from on click to on drag. And make sure that the animation is smart animate. All right. Now, for the last slider, again, select the circle from the last slider. Click on the plus sign and connect it to the first slider. Change from on click to on drag. Make sure that the animation is smart animate. So as you can see, we are done with the uh, interaction setup. The last thing that we have to do is to check to make sure that the um, interactions is correct. So I'm going to go to my assets and search for slider. I can see a slider here. Drag it, drag it, drag it over here. Right click and select, uh, do a frame selection. Okay, make the frame a little bit bigger. Okay, let's call this frame demo. Now, I will click on, I'll click on this demo frame. Just click on demo frame and click flow starting point. Okay, let me just change the uh, flow starting point, this flow's uh, name from flow one to demo. Once I'm done, I click on this plus sign. Okay, you can see this pop up over here. Oops. Great, it seems like it's working. I click on it and I can drag it from left to right and right to left. Okay, let me show you on a bigger screen. So this is what we have created. I'm gonna drag it, click the handle, drag it to the center. From the center, I can drag it to the right. From the right, I can drag it all the way to the left. Beautiful. So with just these few simple steps, you can create your very own slider on Figma. If you like to see more of this kind of a tutorials, you know, feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll be creating more step-by-step -step, uh, video tutorials on how you can recreate components that you see in the real-world scenario. Follow for more of such videos.